Well, journalist Sesanga Bate, who was recently abducted and taken to a known destination by unknown people, has finally been released. Bate was released last evening by Uganda police, meaning he had been abducted by people in security. He's been charged with the case of subversive activities. Uh, it's very understandable. They had to release him. Uh, the pressure was too much. All the journalists on different social media platforms had united calling for his release to his family. And uh, we thank God he's finally here. Bate is a big supporter of President Robert Chagulanyi Shentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. And it's suspected that's the main reason he was abducted. Well, yesterday, uh, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, at his home in Magere, while speaking to the journalists, said that the second phase of NUP countrywide tours was to start on Wednesday. But I think they are still sorting themselves and uh, they will be communicating very soon. Uh, program here for your second phase. Ebadde day in Akuta and Kakura for Saturno, of course, in Cha. Eratulinze, Banna Febonava Tebe, then Tugenda Kuvayo, Nenambuka. Nenambula in Tufu. Era you need to know Kuvera, but lean the Tujaba to Kaku. Kaira for Thomas Okubanga to parking. What to Gambi would they saw a Yakusimbra? Fengava Kulembeze, Avenger or Abal on the Wabantu, to Chimai Burundio to Kutambula Kunogendo Kuzuks and Okugra offices of Chimu Mateka, a Tira Chimi Yamateka. Well, it should be remembered that Uganda police suspended NUP countrywide tours, and uh, we don't know if they are going to be allowed this time around. Well, away from that, a section of Ugandans living in Berlin, Germany, led by human rights activist Dr. Stella Nyanzi, yesterday on Independence Day, protested against the lack of independence and freedoms in Uganda. They were chanting, Museveni must go. We want freedom. Museveni down. People power, our power, and other slogans. Museveni must go. Uganda is not independent. Uganda will be we want freedom of speech. We want freedom of speech. We free all political prisoners. Down to seventy down. People power. Power power. People power. They also had placards inscribed with words such as "Abduction of Ugandans must stop. Stop us a chosen political opponents. Uganda is not independent. There is no independence without freedom of expression." Stop funding dictator Museveni and other statements. We are all free. We cannot keep oppressing our own people because we were oppressed homophobia and transphobia is overflowing right now in uganda as we speak and how can we claim to be free when our fellow siblings are literally out of housing out of education out of jobs out of all of the basic human rights that is not right we are here to repeal the anti-homosexuality act of uganda because we are not free until we are all free. Stop funding homophobia! Stop funding homophobia! Viva Germany, viva! Viva! Viva Germany, viva! Viva! Viva Uganda, viva! Viva! And we call upon the German government through the BMZ to stop funding dictator Museveni. We are here in front of the European Union representative office in Berlin calling upon the European Union Commission to stop funding dictator Museveni. Museveni has abused human rights grossly. Today, Uganda makes 61 years of independence, but we are still not independent. We must stop the EU from funding all of this torture. We must stop the EU from funding corruption. We must stop the EU from funding homophobia and transphobia. We need to be free. We need to be free. We need to be free. We need to be free.
We need to be free. Oh, Lutano, Naluete, Suriamba Lengule, Suriamba Lengule, Suriamba Lengule, Oh, Lutano, Naluete, Suriamba Lengule.